All right. Welcome, everyone, to what is not a normal Pilgrims game. It looks like a normal Pilgrims game because players start on their small starting islands. Players start with a bunch of villagers. Wait, what happened? What happened? Oh, someone dropped and they're like, is that, that, is that the surprise? No. I think we're okay. Let me just pretend we're going to be okay. I'm going to believe this game is going to be perfect. So it looks like a normal Pilgrim's map. Uh, it is a bit bigger than normal. And players will start on their small islands with a king. And ultimate goal is to to, pour, to perform diplomacy. Uh, ally, enemy, backstab, snipe kings, win the game. However, this is the one thing that they don't know. I did not tell them. When a king gets sniped, there's a nuke effect. So you know that nuke town map where people can drop the nukes and then half the map explodes? Well, when a king gets sniped, everything around it explodes. And they have no clue. No one told them. <laughs> so that's why, so if you look at the name of the map, it's called Pilgrim Spicy Special Size 1.5. There's different sizes of it because we needed to make the map bigger. Because if it was a normal sized map, there would be no map remaining. <laughs> so they have no clue. They're probably going to be looking for different things. Like they, they don't know what's out here. They might be expecting there to be 25 bears uh, like the wolves. I, I don't know what they're expecting, but they're already talking about it. And Pilgrims is a nomad start, so many players are transporting their vills to build TCs. And I'll introduce the players Sound once they get like their TCs up. A T90 official. Yeah, so when I first heard about this, sounds like a blast. T90 dad, I see what you did there. Box man, or should I say dad man. Um, I, I began to chuckle a little bit, and I was just imagining the possibilities. Like, think about it. What if two people were sharing a castle with their king, and then one guy gets sniped, the other one survives for a little bit longer, but doesn't run away fast enough? It'd be pretty crazy. And oh no, Nushio! There's four wolves here! See, they might think this is the surprise. Okay, he tried this with the other woman. No, 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 no. Just listen, let him die. All right, wall him into a corner or something. That's his only chance, but don't lose these two villagers. <laughs> surprise! Oh my god! Poor Laboga! <laughs> Spicy, 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 <laughs> uh, what if Laboga takes it back to him? Yo! What if Laboga takes it back to him? Oh, that would have been so funny. That would have been so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> so, Zybzik says, so the, stra the start is the only surprise. I guess other people might have run into wolves or something. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but this is a funny start, man. This is a really funny start. And Loud Pack General says, If you team with me till the end, I give back. I need a ride or die, whether I fail or fly. Oh, wow. This guy has everything it takes to be a community game legend. Just typing. <laughs> what happened exactly? I think I think that Barbecue Python wanted to place a TC elsewhere, and then Blue was there. Or, like, maybe... I, I'm not sure. Something happened. And now Barbecue Python is is running into wolves just like some of the other players did earlier. He's trying to save his vills and failing. And uh, Barbecue Python says, "How? Hold on. How do I trust you after the whole TC thing?" Oh God, man! I feel so bad for some of these guys. This isn't even a surprise. <laughs> As I said to my Twitch viewers earlier, some people are gonna have some really bad days because of this map. Loud Pack General is very loud, and he's packing a lot of words into his sentences. He says, my king is grat fight, great fighter, he protect you. Okay, let's introduce the players, okay? Let's introduce the players. I'm ready to see some things blow up. Uh, Zybzeg is playing, I'm going to call him Spice most likely, that's his old name. He is playing as the Japanese. In the arms, we have Barbecue Python. Um, I, I should probably bring up the overlay to say, to sorry, to see just how many villagers he lost. Because I think he lost a few. But anyway, he's playing as the Chinese. 
Sorry, it's a little bit finicky. There we go. Uh, right next to him is Loud Pack. Loud Pack is playing as the Huns. In the yellow, we have Nushio. Nushio is playing as the Vikings. In the red, we have M Michelinho playing as the Koreans. <sighs> uh, in the gray, we have Italians for Laboga. And I think we have to talk about V. V for Kickass is out here playing as the Mayans. And I think he's probably the strongest player in this game. But that said, Barbecue Python, Laboga, Nushio, Zybzek. Honestly, the only two I don't know a lot about is Oxy and Loud Pack. All, like, the other six are really strong. So I think this is going to be a, a really high-level community game. Uh, Oxy, I think it's a first community game for him. He's playing as the Franks out here. And he has transported. So he has something on the mainland for now. And that's actually a strategy to TC here in Feudal Age. So you can create more villagers, just like V has done. And then in Castle Age, build TCs on the mainland. Gundrick says, T90, just to be clear, the idea was from Karoo, and I depended on the, or from the Nuketown code. So I just put the idea into motion. Also, the size is from, is for the Nike, not the map. The Nike. Wait, Nike is a sponsor of your map? What about Adidas? Oh, the Nuke. I see, the size is for the Nuke. I gotcha. Um, so Gundrick... Uh, thank you for putting it to motion. Thank you, Karoo, for the idea. I know Karoo's... I don't know if he's out there right now, but I know many of you guys have probably seen him around the community. Uh, I'm excited to see how this goes. Now, Gundrick, a few questions for you uh, about the Nike. Does the Nike have a cooldown on it? Like, let's say, for example, Orange deletes his king right now. Does everything around it instantly explode, or is there a six or seven second countdown? What happens exactly? I think you had spoken to me about a count on, but I forget those details, so I just wanted to say this so the audience knows. He said no, 10 food countdown. Okay, so the king has a countdown on it, just like the, uh, the goats did, I guess, in the Nuketown map. Perfect. What's up, ducks? Welcome. Uh, Django says, T90, you said Nike, and the new sub clip came on. With you wearing a Nike shirt, looks like you promote Nike on your stream. Yeah, man, <laughs> that's true. Shazza, thank you for the sub. By the way, Django, uh, it's a pleasure having you in the community, man. I think you said earlier you started with a gifted sub and have been hanging around. So Nushio is on its way to Feudal Age. Most of the other players are already there. I'm, I'm curious to see how this goes. Now, one big thing that I'm seeing is the population for V. V is not a player who likes to play Diplo. He doesn't speak. He's not loudmouth general over here. He just he just plays the game and tries to kill. So he, he's the type of guy that puts a big target on his back. But same could be said for Laboga and Spice and Nushio and Michelinho. I mean, they're all very strong. So Purple's going to play this uh, correctly. I, I think he'll be on his way to Castle Age. He'll now transport villagers to the mainland and hopefully build a TC or two on here. But he has 19 fishing ships. He has 1,400 food after clicking up to the next stage. That's insane. That's the power of salmon right there. Gundrick says, except if it's detonated by another nuke. Then the chain reactions happen instantly. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, thank you for the explanation. Notice how there's not many people in the back corner right now. Kind of makes sense. Uh, they wanted to get the town centers up as quickly as possible, but there's a lot of open space there and not so much along the shoreline. T90 creep, T90 boys. Robo! What's up, man? Nice to see you here. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I can't wait to see the players' reactions when the explosions happen. I think that makes me evil. Like, I'm, I'm no expert on what's good and bad in this world, but I think if I want other people's days to be ruined by explosions, I think that Finally makes me evil. able to watch T90 streams again. Had internet issues hmm. the past few months already? Still love to watch the games T90 salute. Then again, if... 
then again, I feel like people who would wish for everyone to be friends forever would would they'd probably be boring people. No offense, Filster. Um, so I will see. Um, Michelinio is scouting with his king at the moment. Lots of good scouting. Lots of good space down here for him to expand to. I'm just kidding. If Filster's out there, I was just troll. I wanted him to hear that. It was just a joke. <laughs> I love you, Filster. <laughs> yeah, there we go. He said, fight me. Wait, no, ally me. Okay, cool. Uh, so, Trepid, Trepid, I have... My, my computer setup for streams is way over the top. So, asking me what I have for playing age is probably not something that would apply to your situation. Um, I, shoot. I could tell you, if you remind me, I could tell you. I've been meaning to put it below the stream. I really need to. I've just been too busy practicing force nothing strategies to beat doubt. So, but yeah, it's, it's way over the top. I can tell you that much. So that's pretty cramped over here. Uh, some players have had some slower starts. Oh. Oh, wow, and Barbecue Python's not having it. He's denying the TC with these pointy boys. And so that has slowed down V's Castle Age expansion, though he'll just place a TC here now. Okay, that's a loss of resources right there. I like Zybzek's position uh, because he has all the space on the right, and then I do like Red or Gray's position depending on how they expand. Look, wow, you know, there's a lot of gold and stone in the south. There's way more gold in the south than there is anywhere else. Maybe I'm just missing some of the piles because it's amongst all the colors of the players, but I'm pretty sure there's more gold in the south. <clears throat> Easy G Flight, thank you for the tier 2 7 months. He said, I'm at a land in England watching Twitch. Well, nice. Am I like, am I currently speaking to a group of people? Or are you at a land right now and huddled into the corner with headphones watching my stream? <laughs> 8B Waffle, uh, glad you could get your internet sorted, man. Welcome back. I know, time flies. Great to have you. 23 fishing ships for V. He's getting gill nets now. And people do not seem to be very fond of him. And people do not seem to be very happy about the fact that he's, he's set up shop here. This is the risk. This is the risk of going for that super fast castle strategy. You can't solidify control on the mainland easily. And he's made a lot of enemies. But has he said a word? I would be speaking. Maybe it's just the caster in me. I'm just natural at Diplo. <laughs> but um, he hasn't said a word. He hasn't said, hey, just let me build the TC. Like, It's so weird to me that players don't speak. I don't get it. But then again, people don't understand why I talk all the time, so... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> His silence speaks volumes. I mean, Loud Pack General over here, he was talking. And his actions speaking volumes here. He sniped a bunch of villagers. So it's gonna go down over here. Um, I'm not sure that, that V's position is all that strong now, unless he builds a castle and gets imp. And maybe starts making some plumes. Ooh, look what Nushio's up to. Now, he got T90 wooed. He's lost three villagers to wolves this game, but he is building a TC in the back, and he scouted this. He probably scouted it with his king. Wants to snag the relic as well. So, so what do you... What are you guys expecting from this? Let me ask that, because I can't really ask you what you think of the map. I, most of you probably think Pilgrims is cool. I've done Pilgrims a bunch. It's a legendary community game map, but what do you think of the concept? We, ha we have to see what, what actually goes down, but... Hey, Eric Twice, welcome to the stream. Oh! Uh, I wouldn't let this happen if I were you. Gray's castle position is suspect. Yep. Red sees it. I would say I would I would type right now and say Gray stop building that. Yeah. Okay, and Gray does stop building it. But again, they haven't spoken. 
<laughs> they haven't spoken to each other. They just... Michelinia says, castle dropping Korean man. Are they allied? They're allied. Yeah. Just Gray just wanted to get away with building that and then turn on red later. The bogus says I don't have gold 11. That's, that's, that's great. You don't have gold? Just tell him that and collect some gold. You know, be friends. But you try and drop a castle on his face. Like, that is not going to give you a good, like, trade partner later on. <laughs> like, he talks after the castle gets denied. He just lost himself a potential ally, I think. Once people figure it out, you could end up with an interesting hostage situations. Yeah, Gator. Well, I think in this game, people are not going to figure it out. People are going to be very confused by it. I think if we do this a second and third time, once people know and it's no longer a surprise, that's when real strategies will come into play. <laughs> uh, Labogus trying to expand for gold! Wait! Can he block the wolves somehow? Oh no, he found gold! Quick, wall him in. If you send a vill here, send a vill here and then build a wall here and a wall here, you could actually save him. It's gonna get really tough with so many wolves, though. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, poor Laboga. <laughs> now I feel bad for him. Quick! I like how the monk is just passing, too. He's like, heal me! Heal me, oh holy one! He's like, nope, I got relics to deliver. Got a tight schedule around here, we're understaffed. For a while and I can't do it anymore for free. Here's a little money, daddy. Okay. Fake taxi. Thank you, son. <laughs> Fake taxi 6969. <laughs> what a username. <laughs> Fake taxi, thank you for the five dollars, man. Thank you, Horfan, for 16 months with Prime and Nike. Wow, Nike 1900 as Snell subbed to the stream. How fitting. Well. Uh. Oh, wait, that was Oxy. Wait. Was that. Oxy was trying to protect Loboga. What a bro! I thought that I thought that was these were gray spearmen. Wow. Well, that was a nice attempt from him, anyway. Onion Duck, what's up, man? King Boo says, "Hi, T9 official. I'm new here. Just wanted to say thanks for uninstalling the no snow mod, as I was stuck in a blizzard, and by you taking on board some snow, it freed me from my frozen cage." Thanks, T90, and don't forget to eat some salmon. Uh, I won't forget. <laughs> no! Oh my god! Oh my god! What a bro! What a bro! He brought the wolves over to this woman! How unfortunate can you be? Are you kidding me? So, let's back up for a second. What happened was, Mabogo was sending a single villager to try and find some gold. Green had spearmen... He saw the wolves were attacking the villager, and he said, I'll save you, and then he failed in saving him. Later, he was running around with the wolves attacking his spears, just ended up here, and Laboga ended up losing another villager next to the TC. Oh my god. I feel like they added more wolves onto this map, but it's always been a common thing on pilgrims. Jeez. It is looking really cramped here, guys. You have to spill the tea later, just saying. I know exactly what you're saying. And I'm Oh Uh Loud Pack General has a lot of plumes in this general area. What is going on right now? It feels like the plumes aren't doing any damage. Are these Spanish villagers? Wow, well V. Uh, he denies a castle. For now. I feel like, I feel like, no, you can go finish that castle. Yeah, Blue has chain barding knights. He has some skirms. He could, he could drop the castle here. Dr give it a drop arena right in the same spot, just like that would do. Perfect. That's a good point. Adding more wolves is a, is a distraction from the real surprise, indeed. Well, Currently, everyone's very compact, so when a king does die, people are going to lose eco, and people might even lose their own kings. At the moment, orange and blue are really close together. Yeah, V still hasn't said a word. It's just, it's just baffling to me. 
<laughs> no diplomacy whatsoever. Very aggressive play from Blue. Blue did say he would defend Orange, right? They're working together. And now Orange is building a castle here, and he has Cav Archers. If he gets the Cav Archers here, he could deny Purple's castle. Purple clicked the... Or Orange clicked the... Mo oh my god, the university, I can't speak. That was a mistake. It's like, oh, you can build a castle, but you won't learn anymore. Shooting up the schools. Cav Archer style. Wow, this is just so cluttery. Hmm. Well, Zybzek, otherwise known as Spice, is... He's on the right-hand side. He has had a free boom, 113 villagers. Okay, that was probably a bad joke. I'm sorry. Um, Chainmail armor. He's Japanese, so he might be thinking about samurai and halberdier. Hmm. Ooh, Loudback has his king in this castle. <laughs> Yo! This is... Spam T90 babe if you think T90 can woo a girl. Spam T90 creep if you think he can't. And then Ducks spams T90 creep. Ducks, that's funny because I wooed your mom la I'm kidding. Thank you for the bits. So, th this has been really competitive. Um, v has Navy. He doesn't have a lot of eco. He's only 18 villagers, but he, he's annoying blue as much as humanly possible. Um, <laughs> Barbie Python has a 93% castle, <laughs> and he's sacrificing Cav Archer lives so the bills can finish it. He can't get it up. Oh my god. Ah! Get it? Oh my goodness. This is so messy. But I really wonder who's going to be the first one to lose a king. V has his king inside this castle, so it could be him. Um, I see a lot of upgrades coming in for yellow at the moment. A lot of upgrades coming in for red. Gray will probably be right behind him. He's on the way to the Imperial Age with archers. Someone's gonna die. And as a reminder, once someone dies, this is the doubtest of all doubt castles. Oh my god. Come on, barbecue. Get it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Go! Oh, we got it! Buzzer beater, baby. Um, shoot, what was I talking about? I Oh, yeah, I basically said someone's gonna die. When they die, the kings explode, and the players don't know that, okay? Uh, wow, we have some turtle ships over here. And some war wagons. See, this is the Koreans I like. I like this Koreans. I just don't like the tower Koreans. This is nice. Hmm. Pavise. That's a fun upgrade to say. Makes me feel Italian for just a moment. Laboga is getting Pavise. His crossbows will have more armor now. Barbecue Python says, mmm, T90 lost. Are you lost in this world? Do you need a friend? Have you fallen and you can't get up? That's, that's what V is at right now. Like, again, it hasn't appealed to anyone. He, this is how complicated his situation is. He's creating villagers from his only TC, which is on this island, and he has to transport them to resources. That is so taxing. Okay, I have a feeling Blue needs to get out of here. Oh, wait, is there no Carto? How did, how was I not told this, this tidbit of info? There's no Carto. Right? No, there's no Carto. Oh. He also said no petards before. I'm sorry. Well, if he said that, I missed it. So, Blue does not have cartography with his allies, so he doesn't know exactly what Teal might be sending in. Red says hi. Green says hello. Oh, it's the scouts. Oh, the light calf. <laughs> Red says seeking treasures. Yeah, Green says he's trying to find some gold. So if there's no Carto, then it'll be almost impossible for people to know how people keep dying and how their bases keep exploding. 
And the only people who know about the exploding kings are going to be the people who are already dead. Ooh. Gundrick says, I must have copied that part from the script. Sorry. Oh, you didn't mean to do that? Okay, well, there's only one way to, to find out these things. You got to play it. Yeah, green doesn't have a lot of space. Wow. I, I really want to see a king die. Now, if if purple were to just delete his king now, it'd be freaking hilarious. Just send the king this way and destroy half of Blue's eco. <laughs> Would probably kill Barbecue Python's king as well. Oh my god. It's a lot of archers for the Boga. It's a big sniping army. I don't love Italians. I, I really feel like they struggle against good siege sieves. The Koreans will be tough for them to deal with. So many upgrades on the way. V is... I'm impressed with the guy. He's on his way to the Imperial Age. But now Blue has Trebs because Blue's already an imp. I have this feeling that Zybzek is just going to roll Blue. Sorry, T90, due to the secretism... secretism. I couldn't get proper testing. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I know a few people knew about it. Uh, it's understandable. I think it was a good idea to keep it on the DL. So, yeah, Gundrick put in a lot of thought into keeping this a secret so people who are very active in the community wouldn't hear about it. Um, uh, this could be where the first king dies. There it is. Huh. <gasps> The king wishes he had a weapon to defend himself. Surely there's a transport on the way. Okay, transport's on the way. Does Blue not have anything? <laughs> Blue doesn't have anything to snipe that, I guess. Well, trading gets really complicated if you can't, if you don't have Carto. You actually have to scout their markets. Okay, Purple's King is about to hop into the transport ship. Oh, he has a TC over here, so he'll survive for now. And no one has made a move yet. Oh, it's one of those games that's just going to... Once one thing happens, everything else is going to happen. Game's going to snowball out of control. What on earth? Look at Nushio's resources. I told you there was gold down here. Holy crap. Come on, King Snipe. Infoboat, welcome back, man. I actually had an apple during my break. Heard it on the grap, welcome back. Or heard it on the grape van. Gra gra grape van. <laughs> grape vine. Loudpack says, who is trading with you, barbecue? And Oxy says, maybe we are the surprise. Red says, you are my surprise. Are you saying he wasn't a planned child? Because that's not something you should tell your kids, Red. <laughs> I believe when I asked my parents growing up, Mom, was I an oops baby? My mom said, you were planned by God. <laughs> she, would hate, she would hate it if she knew I told that on stream. <laughs> She's like, no, you were all part of God's plan. I, I was like, oh, okay. I was part of God's plan. I got it. Very diplomatic way of saying that, Mom. <laughs> I was like 10. I, I don't know how I would have handled that information. Now that I'm 26, I don't care. <laughs> hmm, anything going out? Going on out here? Sorry, words are hard. I think the fact that they don't have Carto has made it complicated. One thing I want to point out is, is V has been collecting golds and stones from some of these other islands. His king is just chilling in the north. Wouldn't be pilgrims without a long game. I'm just ready. I am so ready for the first explosion. Now, YouTubers, don't be the guy that time stamps when the first explosion is, okay? The explosion's only satisfying when there's a lot of buildup. You gotta earn that satisfaction. Don't go, don't go the easy way. Split up the video over the course of a few weeks if you have to. I know all your tricks, YouTube. 
<laughs> Everyone's gonna timestamp it. <laughs> People are gonna go out of their way to do it. What have I done? And purple's running this way. I don't. By the way, I don't really care. I, I know that you guys might not have three hours to watch Age of Empires every single day. It's, it's everyone's in different positions in life, so it's fine. Boga, we friendly or are those towers coming closer? Oh, wait. Okay, Blue's King is safe. Teal is now attacking Blue. I expected this a while ago, so I wasn't sure if he was actually going to do it. He is now. And now Orange says, what? No, purple, so rude. And I'm not sure why that is exactly, but I think we need to focus on Blue's situation. Because Blue's only at 73 population! I really liked Loud Pack, too. Unless he's a Packers fan, then I'm not so sure. Then he has to earn it, but... <laughs> Hoaxie says, Well, I just sold all my stone by mistake. Fear me! <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, Blue is certainly not one to be feared right now. <gasps> Wait a second, is Barbecue gonna help Blue, or is he gonna snipe Blue? I think he's gonna help Blue. Red says, Teal, why you on my ass, bro? I fought for your right for slow speed gameplay. Wow. He's sassy, even in the face of defeat. Nichukunu are fantastic against what uh, Zybzek is making. So as, as long as Barbecue Python could go with Rams and Chukunu, I, I think he could easily beat Japanese. Um, at the moment, though, I think Zybzek will have a lot of reinforcements, so it might be kind of tough. We'll keep Blue alive for now, but there's really no room for expansion. Because of players like Nushio. Wow, and, and Laboga is really playing defensive. <clears throat> Sorry about the sniffles. T9 official, who's your favorite NFL team? I'm a Vikings fan, which is why I'm not too fond of the Packers. Though, I am an adult about it. I have friends who are Packers fans. It's not like I truly hate them. Yeah, so, because Teal has a buffer in front, and he has Arbalest behind, he'll, he'll chew up the Chukunu, which is why I said, uh, it, ideally, Barbecue Python would have some Rands in front. But, but Barbecue Python's eco is really not there. And neither is Blues, so I think Teal could 1v2 them. Hmm. Yep, I'm a Capitals fan in the NHL. I'm a Vikings fan in the, uh, in the NFL. I'm a Manchester United fan, and I don't really care enough about baseball. Though I do watch it. I do watch baseball. Uh, curling, I'm um, Team USA. Uh, I wasn't really into curling until Dave got really competitive about it one year. It was, is like the Olympics and Dave's Canadian and they're really into curling, I guess. And Dave was like, oh, it's, it's USA versus Canada. And I, the only reason I really rooted for my country was because I wanted Dave to get upset and <laughs> the United States won. So, <laughs> Ooh, I haven't brought that up around him in a long time. So I can't wait to bring that one back up. Does Purple have a TC over here? What's going on? He has some bills? Man, so many players are fully boomed. This is crazy. The fortifications they have. Like, no one's going to want to attack if they see this. And also part of it is they don't know what's coming. So I think Gray's like, oh shoot, oh shoot. Someone's going to attack me. I need to, I need to prepare for that. But that's not what's going down. Teal is taking large portion away uh, from others of this map. Like, he... He's probably going to struggle if he pushes versus yellow in the south, but still. The amount of map control he's going to gain from this is huge. Yellow, though, is also in the corner, so it's almost impossible for him to be surprised. Tramalov, I don't have any plans for Hidden Cup 3 yet. Um, the thing about something as big as Hidden Cup is it can't be too frequent, otherwise it's not going to be as exciting. Uh, we'll have to see. It's kind of hard for me to, to plan for late late 2019 and early 2020 right now. Um, because I'm not sure what Definitive Edition is going to be like. Oh, Nushio is making longboats. Wait, doesn't Green have his king here? Yeah, Green does have his king here. He could be sniped. But yeah, if Definitive Edition is, is 
Like, so much of, of my plans revolve around how things go with the Definitive Edition. Um, they could postpone the launch. Right now, I've said fall of this year. Uh, they might not, and so I... The last thing I would want is to have a big event scheduled when no one's going to want to, like, participate in it because of the, the Definitive Edition, so... Alright, so we're 20 seconds away from one hour. It is very common for Pilgrim's games to be long. And it's actually why I stopped doing Pilgrim so often, because the games can go on forever. And we have really solid players in this game, has to be said. It, look at how Gray's played it. He's almost max population. He's fortified. Look at how Red's played it. They're having some conversations at the moment. But I think blue... It's just a matter of time until blue goes down and orange goes down to teal. Yeah, I know people are going to play it, Eldry. But what I don't want to do is is have people saying, Hey, play Definitive Edition when there's a tournament. You know, I, like, I want 100% of my efforts in Hidden Cup 3 and 100% of my efforts into the Definitive Edition. So it all depends. Uh, but the first Hidden Cup was in September of last year. Uh, Hidden Cup 2 is in mid-April of this year, so I'm thinking early 2020, but we'll have to see. Um, there's a lot of things that I would change with it. I, of course, would like to beat the 17,000 live viewers we had on the final day, so uh, I, gotta, I gotta plan some things to make it even better. So, at the moment, I think we're just waiting for Teal to finish off Blue and finish off Orange. Uh, kind of sucks for Zybzek because his score is getting higher and higher with all this attacking, but that like, yellow's just just chilling out, man. 19,000 gold. Definitely one of the territories where if you lose the game, it's, it's going to be embarrassing. Loud Pack General says, looking pretty Macy Gray for the boys. <laughs> okay, let's check king positions. Barbecue Python has his king here. Blue has his king here. So if Blue's King dies, it could actually set off the explosion, which would then kill uh, Orange's King. Hidden Cup is where I found you. Well, Nimbly Pumpkin, it's awesome. Yeah, I know a lot of people did. Uh, but, you know, if you look at anything that's good in this life, it's good because it's not something that's happening all the time. Unless we're talking pizza. Like, pizza's always good, even if you have pizza every day. But my point is, I can't do Hidden Cups every couple months, because then it wouldn't be the same. The surprise is Teal is a backstabber. <laughs> Blue says the, the surprise is Teal is a backstabber. Literally Brutus. Oh, I don't want Blue to die. He's too funny. Barbecue Python says, it's spicy because of no Carto, so I die in the Dark Age. No! That's not it. That's not it. We need someone to kill. See, at this point, they're an hour into this game. They haven't seen anything too surprising, so... They're probably thinking it was the wolves or something. I feel bad for Zybzek. He, he doesn't have... He was trying to trade. He couldn't get trade over here successfully and back because of Blue's existence. He also doesn't have a lot of gold to push. Oh, Laboga is allied with everyone that's currently fighting, and he's just building outposts. It's actually a wise decision. So now he knows what's going on. How funny would it be if there were three players left, one guy was near dead anyway, and he was kind of pissed at one of the remaining players, so he just sent his king towards him. He used his king as a bomb. That's what I would do. Screw you. <laughs> Taste my king explosives. Barbecue Python's king is right here. Now, spoiler alert. Barbecue Python broke the golden rule and he's back in the chat. He says, okay, this was spicy. So I, I can assume that something's going to happen to the king. He's now sending the king in. He's committing suicide. And the king dies. Okay, wait. Now, is there anything around this? Look, the king is now a goat. Eight food. Seven food. Are they going to talk about it? Five. 
four, <laughs> three. I, I don't know if there's anything else around here. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm so scared. My emotions can't handle this. <gasps> what? Yo! Holy crap! Gundrick said it was 44 tiles! <laughs> Can you imagine how scared he must be right now? <laughs> Teal sees all of that. <laughs> so Teal's laughing and Red says, oh, that must be the surprise. <laughs> he saw the surprise, whatever that was. Oh my god. Woo! Uh, Red says my poor trade card. Wait, so maybe Red has an idea of what happened. It's like Red, Red won't have any clue. As far as he knows, these trees still exist. Wow, man. It's pronounced Spicek. This message was paid for by the Get T90 to pronounce things correctly, squad. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Well... <laughs> Teal says how to lose 80 pop in a second. Blue is salty. He says be a backstabber. That's how. Wow. Oh my god! Yo, if Red's tempted to snipe this king, I will lose my shit. Sorry, I know you might have children listening. Someone out there. Oh, that would be amazing! Imagine if someone snipes Blue. Blue's king dying would, would set off like a chain reaction of explosions. But Red's not doing that. Green is dead. Oh, Green's dead. Wait, his king was over here, right? Say goodbye to your navy. Wow. Oh my god. Sorry, I missed green dying, but I didn't miss the explosion. Woo! A yellow just says WTF. So yes, people are figuring out that there are quite a few surprises. And if you just got to the stream, when kings die, they become bombs. Now, there's friendly fire associated with this. So you could kill allies as well. And now yellow, I mean, he has resources, so he's fine, but he's down to 144 pop. <clears throat> Red says, is Teal making, what is Teal making for army? And blue says, Expos and Samurai, he's sucker noob. <laughs> I love how blue, like blue's like the, the villain in the movie that, is obviously going to get defeated, and he just keeps talking trash. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say it's fair to call him a villain, but he's been very talkative here. <clears throat> Tip if he is a Packers fan, it's pretty typical of them. All talk, but but no Super Bowl wins. I'm kidding! I'm a Vikings fan. We suck. I wish I could actually make that joke, but I can't. <sighs> Life of a Vikings fan is rough. Okay, so Nushi was a, I believe he's about to scout. He had these two scouts. He sees that red is on the way. Nushi also has a, a female villager inside this TC that's a fake. And Nushi signals and says, yo, red, I'm no community game expert, but I would say just passing. Yes, he just said just passing. <laughs> Somewhere Blue Coffee is smiling in approval. Let's get the, the T90 passings in the chat. And yes. Blue says, yellow chill. You're fine. <laughs> oh, can, remember when we thought Purple was dead? He's somehow still alive. Wow, yellow has a lot out here. He has a lot more longbows and cannon galleons. Could snipe Purple's King, but if he snipes Purple's King, then he just loses his navy again. <laughs> Is it worth it? Red says I'm scared. Well, you should be. I, I think that a lot of people don't know exactly what the surprise is. Loud pack generals at 49 pop. Let's go. The guy's at 49 pop, and he's the voice of reason. He's the voice of positivity on the team. 
Red's like, I'm scared. And Blue says, you have nothing to fear. The general is with you. <laughs> and Red's like, uh, do you have army? It's like, I can make something. One second. He is too cavalier. You know what? Maybe he should ask someone to make a monk to heal him up. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'll make some light cap here. I'll help you. <laughs> Whoa, is Ibsek scouting with a treb? He is scouting with a treb. What does him hating... Okay, Blue hates French people now. He's a very opinionated character. Scouting with a treb is a bit risky. People might not trust you. Hmm. But it gives him some good scouting info. Oh, <laughs> Zybzek. Zybzek. We're gonna get demonetized, man. Mr. Kirby, <clears throat> thank you for the 17 months. Uh, that that uh, subscription goes towards covering the lack of monetization on this video. After Zybzek made a uh, kamikaze joke. Blue says, only thing kamikaze is your career. <laughs> oh my god. Blue says, the only thing kamikaze is your career as an AoE player, bro. About to end your whole career today. <laughs> the guy has like three cavalier, two of which are really weak. <laughs> oh my god. I want him to win so bad. I want Blue to somehow win this. This is freaking hilarious. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, ring the bell. <laughs> Quick, make, make some light cap. <laughs> He's like, uh, Red Teal is on me. Send help. He has a whole 12 units. One trimester down, two to go. He says, if you can't defend me, I understand. Just know I would fight for you against any opponent. Wow. Blue is hilarious. And now they're allied. Oh, they're going to be buddies. Wow. Well, what just happened over here? <laughs> Gray just lost. Gray just lost that onager. I think that red attack grounded that. Well, I don't see how Teal can get sniped easily. His king is in a very safe position. He's got towers everywhere. This is the benefit of map control. Uh, as I say this, yellow's over here. Yellow could at least clear up a lot of his economy and maybe kill the monastery, but... Oh, yellow. I wouldn't let him build this many towers in your base. It's funny, Teal's building towers everywhere. So if he eventually turns on yellow, that will help him out in a big way. And then yellow has a navy here. And yellow says it's a misclick. Trust me. Take my word for it. That is a really bad excuse. People do not believe that. Look at the gray outpost in teal base. Oh yeah, I do see that. Whoa! Whoa, it's about to go down! It's about to go down! Red's king? Oh, that's not a king. That would be a monk. It was a fake. We have condo tieros, trebuchets, arbalest with armor, war wagon, siege onagers. Let's just double check the king positions. The king is here for red, and the king is here for gray, and they are right next to each other. Uh, I really wish we could get Blue's commentary on the whole situation, but I don't think he knows what's going on. I might have an idea because of his farmers. But this should be something the Korean player wins because of the Siege Onagers. Uh, we'll see if he's able to land any big shots, but my goodness. Now, if Grey loses his king or Red loses his king, it's going to kill others, possibly. In fact, if Red gets his king sniped, the explosion from that would kill Grey. And vice versa. And Red doesn't know the surprise unless he was really paying attention to that trade card earlier. I just want to double check teal and yellow aren't fighting. Blue's not fighting, so it's pretty much between these two. 
I have a feeling that whoever wins this is gonna end up <laughs> losing their king as well. <laughs> but what a battle, man. And Gray's actually winning the fight. Like, kind of, at least with population. He, he used the Kondo Tierras to snipe the Siege Onagers, used the Bombard Cannons to shoot the Siege Onagers. He's slowly pushing back the towers. Wow. Okay, and the king is here, but the king could always run, of course. Oh my god, the king ran and almost got hit by the trip. Now, the further the king runs, the further away it is from Gray's king. Man, these war wagons are tanky. Like, I, I, I mentioned the, the military population difference, but then again, war wagons are a bit stronger. Blue has got to be there. Okay, so I think Blue is helping Red. He's saying that's where his king has got to be. But Red's ha Red needs help. <laughs> Red is is dying to this. He doesn't... He's not in a position to snipe Gray at all. Man, I can't wait for the fight between Yellow and Teal. That's going to be a massive one. Where's Blue's King at again? Oh, it's in this castle. Blue would die then as well. Oh, Gray's getting so close to doing this. I, I, let's just see if he can keep up with the production. Is he producing? Yeah, he's producing skirms and condos. Uh, I'm not sure. He sent his traps forward too early. I'm not sure. This is a real grind. And the King has just moved into the castle where Blue is. You would think eventually he can, though, because Red has less castles to produce from, and he's he's running low on gold. He's trying to trade, and he's doing so successfully, but he's not getting a lot of gold per trip as it stands. Again, just want to double check. Uh, Nushio has 16,000 gold. Okay, and he's prepping rams. Rams, onagers, probably berserks. He's played this so safe. His castles have villagers inside. A loud pack general says, all right, or I, I'm going to hit his eco. <laughs> He's going to raid him, boys. <laughs> well, hey, Blue has been a pretty, pretty good teammate, if you ask me. He's doing his best. Nivida. Sorry, it's not force nothing. Welcome back. 29 months supporting the stream. This this could this could hurt Gray actually. He doesn't have food floating. I thought they might be fine against this, but I think even the distraction might be worth it. Red could hold on. He could stabilize. And now Teal's over here. I think he's allied with both, right? He's allied with both, and he's just scouting. Oh my God, Teal. Tell me you realize that this is happening. You can't let this happen, man. You... Why is your king even here? Of all the castles to choose, he's put his king in this one. And Nushio just has to do everything right. And he has to make sure that the king, or the, sorry, the castle is surrounded by arbs. Oh my god. The king is going to eject to the north. Okay, Teal has realized, does he run this way now? He almost needs to run this way. Or he's dead. No way! Now, is that going to kill yellow is the question. Uh, it might. I don't think it will. I think it will mainly destroy a lot of Teal's eco. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, so let's keep an eye on this, right? Uh, this goat is at two food. And get ready for a lot of units to die. Boom! Wow, that just worked out perfectly for yellow. It cleared out all of Teal's towers. Like That was borderline perfect. There are still a few towers out here that he has to clean up, but... Made it look real simple. Teal is getting scouting info. I think he should have had his king over here. Well, I guess he couldn't have his king over here either because of the cannon galleon, so... The way yellow has played this has just been really smart. Well, I, I think this would be the situation in this game where everyone should talk about killing yellow. Um, 
they haven't seen yellow doing all that much. <laughs> Loudback General says he's panicking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Loudpack is at 115 pop, guys. He has been loud. <laughs> yeah, purple! What, what on earth is going on with purple? Yo, I forgot purple was even in the game. Purple's just been trading on water, and he has tons of gold. Loudpack says... Easy money. Can we get some some dollar signs in the chat for Loudpack Jr.? Why did I call him Loudpack Jr.? Loudpack General, sorry. I just I just, just insulted the man. Purple gonna win this from behind. He might. He might. I just wonder at what point Blue starts annoying <clears throat> like Michelinia or something. Okay, Matt, we get it. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> oh, man. I'll be honest with you guys. I really want Nushio to die. Like, I feel like he's going to be the toughest one to snipe. He's played this so safe. So for that reason, I would love for him to die. And if people realize what's going on with this trick, they could suicide their own kings. They could sacrifice. They could take one for the team. Do it for the YouTube video. Do it for the memes. Hmm. <laughs> Matt, you didn't even know. <laughs> you, you didn't even know. <laughs> had I not reminded you. <laughs> Matt and I were, were playing some games. And I was like, dude, Matt, thank you so much for that large donation. He was like, wait, I donated to you? It's <laughs> like, yeah, you did. You don't remember that? It's like, no, I, I honestly don't. Can you remind me? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so, so Red has cleared out a lot of these buildings. This doesn't really benefit him much. I'm telling you, Gray and Red just need to make up. They need to kiss, become friends. I mean, that's, that's how friendship works with, with... At least I think that's how it works. I'm no expert. Become buddies! Uh, Gray honestly might not offer anything to the friendship now. Unless he kisses, like, really good or something. <laughs> Loudpack! Loudpack says, He's gonna fold, bro, like a lawn chair. Can't handle the pressure. And now Nushio says, Laboga need help. You're 2v1, right? And Laboga says, yes, please, help me. Okay, so it's a little bit too late to be sending help, but Yellow's gonna do it. He says, do you know where Red's King is? I don't think... No, 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 Gray should have a general idea. He should know it's around here, because you saw it run to the north. Yeah, kissing means friendship. Have I been doing friendship wrong? Maybe I've been doing friendship wrong. Yellow does have his whole fleet out here. Could kill Purple's trade. I think Purple's a real X Factor right now. <gasps> oh yeah, he's actually going to be helping Red out. Eldry says, T90 has never gotten out of the friend zone. Now, Eldry, it's okay to make jokes, but it was a little bit too close to, to home, alright? All right, Gray's on the move. <laughs> what if Yellow snipes him? Oh, please, Yellow. Please get greedy. I want you to be greedy and snipe Gray. Even still, though, the kings aren't very close together. And I, I'm pretty sure Yellow knows. He hasn't said anything, but he has to know what happens. So he probably wouldn't make that mistake. Whoa, 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 whoa. Choo, choo, choo. Red, this is not... A ram train that you should allow anywhere near you. He's gonna turn. Yellow's gonna turn on yellow. Oh! Red turned first. Yellow could lose all of his army. He will lose all of his army. Oh god. <laughs> oh, it's a slaughter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo! And now V says, Does anyone know where Yellow King is? So again, no Carto. 
So they don't know where the kings are. It makes it complicated. Oh no! Oh no! Yellow's navy's here. Red is too busy talking. Both blue and red's kings are going to go into the tower. Now, if yellow's paying attention to this, he could kill the tower and then kill the kings. But I don't know if he's paying attention at the moment. Red doesn't realize. He says, want to ally to fight gray and yellow. Dude. Well, what will end up happening here is that the cannon galleons will just auto-attack the tower. Oh, oh, they realize. They're on the move. Okay. Woo! I was a little bit too close for comfort. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying uh, about Yellow's Navy. I just, I didn't think that Yellow was going to make that turn. So I, I hadn't brought it up at that point. Laboga says, Purple is asking where your king is, by the way. So Laboga is, is spilling the beans. And Yellow says, okay, thanks for the info. Yes. <laughs> Loudback General says, Red, I love you, brother. Ride or die. This game may end, but our bond will never break. I would rather fight beside you than any arm and, uh, army of thousand. Let's make one last push. Wow, this is... This is getting... This is pulling the old heartstrings. Whoa! Purple got him! Wait, where's Purple's King? Purple's King is out here. Okay, and he has a lot of navy. Where's Red at? Red. Uh, uh, hide. 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 Okay. So, Red and Blue die. So much for that last push. And all of the military is going to get cleaned up. And, uh... I think the first detonation set off the other detonation that was scheduled. So that one was a little bit ahead of schedule, and now another side of the map has been cleared up. Which only benefits yellow more, I think. Oh my god! Unless yellow kills purple right now! Dude, yellow, use the longboats. Oh, purple's dead. Man, Nucio is so good. Yellow's gonna kill him. God, he's just everywhere, isn't he? And at the same time, Purple was making a ram push, but there was a fake villager in that castle. The clutch plays. Purple thought for sure the king was there. He was wrong. And now, of course, Yellow will lose his navy again. We've seen this before. Nushio has no chance to, to save his navy. Um... Incredible stuff from him, man. Uh, again, I know he's played really safe, and, and sometimes I talk down on people who play safe, but the way he's been getting these uh, these snipes have been really clinical. And now it's Nushio Laboga, and that's it. <laughs> and Laboga says, did you kill them all? He said, no, just purple and green and teal. <laughs> that's it. The Boga says, or do people die when they have 50k res or something? So I guess he hasn't realized it. Now he should realize it. <laughs> Nushio says, no, I hope you don't die if I get 50k res. That could be a slight problem for me. So wait, if Gray... Hmm. Ah, La Boga says, you can just give me some resources to be sure you don't die if you get 50k. Because I'd hate for you to lose a game like that. Might as well send me like 10,000 gold. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Nushio, you greedy bastard. He sent him 100 gold, 100 wood, 100 food, 100 stone. Meanwhile, he's sitting on 50,000 wood, 33,000 food, 9,000 gold, and 600 stone. Oh my goodness. I don't blame the guy. He has so many idle farmers, though. Jeez. Yushio, if you rewatch this, please be mindful of your farmers. Because what happens is, everyone sees your farms, and then they remind me about mine. It's not, oh, Nushio's farming is, is 
It could be improved upon. It's oh wow, it reminds me of T90's farms. You remember that one lumber camp he built like ten tiles away from wood? You know. So that's exactly how all my Twitch audience sounds as well. That exact tone and cadence. <laughs> Loboga says, all right, want to fight it out. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna have to. Um Nushio says, yeah, anything else in mind? Well, I guess that whole kiss thing is out the window. I think it's possible for Laboga. I don't know. He doesn't have the resources. Twenty-one years. I can finally drink. Uh, he can try. Um, unfortunately, he has a very slow oh, sieve. We have a baby. So I, I don't. I don't think that there's any possibility for him to get yellow, and unless yellow somehow fails, like he wants to make elite berserks and ungarrisons his castles or something. All right. Well, they're not going to waste any more time. They're going to go after it. Lots of arbalest with the extra armor, which is nice. And skirmishers and bombard cannons. Maybe bombard cannons are the answer to snipe the castles. <laughs> oh no! Oh guys, you're about to see the power of siege rams. And there's nothing that skirmisher arbalest bombard cannon can do against as many siege rams. Every well, not every siege ram, but most of the siege rams are filled to the brim. With Arbalest. I mean, I would like to see some skirmishers for Nushio. Like, you shouldn't get too crazy. <laughs> Is he just going in for the snipe? Choo choo! <laughs> choo choo! <laughs> oh my god. Delete the mining camp. I thought he was going to run in and ungarrison his units and fight it. And I thought that he would have a pretty good chance with the fight because of the Siege Ram meat shield. But the way he's doing this, he's just going for the snipe. Gray just needs to get out of here. Yo, Gray could do this. Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's it's given Dre, Gray a uh, chance. Still, when Gray loses his army, he doesn't have resources to make more. Yellow does. Boosting the old KD, though. That's nice. Madcap, thank you. King Conquest, thank you both for the two months. Appreciate it, King Conquest. Murky, thank you for the nine months. He says, oh, we have a baby. Yep. <clears throat> and because we have a Twitch baby, Twitch chat is going to get to decide on our child's name. Oh, God! We're not going to call him God. Oh! Wouldn't want to name him after Gray's Micro. Uh... Or it could be a, it could be a, a female switch baby. I don't know. Big butt Jackson. All right, sounds like a good idea. Our kids are already gonna get made fun of at school, so just get them to accept it earlier in life. It'll be better for them. Woo! Big onager shots. I mean, it's a good thought process from Gray to, to send the hussars in, but Nushio just has so many resources banked up. Dude Enchant, this is definitely going to be on YouTube. Dude Enchant was Oxy. It feels bad for you, man. But uh, this is pretty hilarious concept. I think that getting this, this southern corner was one of the many things that Nushio did well to get to this winning position. Uh, just, just waiting for Laboga to run out of res now. He doesn't have trade. As far as I know, he doesn't have any relics. Nope. So it does feel like it's just a matter of time, and I think this is probably the wave. Once he loses these units, he'll probably realize that he can't do much, and... Oh, God. These onager shots are killing him. Beneb, I uh, don't think so. I don't think that one will be going up. Yeah, the Bombard Towers, again, very weak against the Siege Rams. Siege Rams are such a good military unit. In combination with range units, especially. Like, Halb Siege Ram is strong. Arbalest Siege Ram is strong. Basically, think of any military unit and add in Siege Ram, and that military unit is twice as strong. Mr. Junior Hope, thank you for 21 months. Uh, Masons, your streak is, is good, man. 
Your streak is good. It's your 22. Thank you. Squid Jet, thanks again for six. Britain, thank you. If I've missed names, I'll get to it. You know the drill. Gray has played a long game. Uh, we're closing it on two hours now. He, he really wants to try. He's been through a lot as well. Remember, he fought 1v2 for a while. But I think the end is near with Nushio's spam continuing and the Rams will continue. And even if Gray runs with his king, he can't run very far. Look, there's even Rams coming in from the north. Yeah, Paladins and Siege Rams are really good too. I mean, should you, pro should you do that? Uh, it's tough <laughs> because of the cost, but... Paladins and Siege Rams are better than just Paladins. So... Okay, so the king's on the move. I kind of expect Loboga to give it up soon. Because he's just getting rolled. And he says, well, GG. And I guess deleting a king here wouldn't do much. Because the explosion will never happen, right? Yellow! Kill it! There we go. And the game ends. <laughs> I like how it's just a standing goat. The goat hasn't died yet. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what a game from Nushio. Uh, he, he was kind of quiet in the early stages. He tends to play like this, and he'll... He'll get to the corners, boom up, bank up resources. Saw a moment where he realized Teal was scouting and not paying attention to his king. Sniped that. Had the navy prepped on the right to maybe force Teal's king towards his uh, siege rams. Then had his navy to snipe purple. Had his navy to help out when sniping and attacking red and blue. He commanded much of this game from the sea and from land. Uh... I, w I was really curious going into this game who was going to be preferred because you had V for Kickass. He was also kind of a quiet player. Um, I think he died with 10,000 gold. So those two players are very similar in that even if they fall behind, they're going to catch up. Uh, Laboga is normally like that, though I, I think his sieve was probably the biggest thing and, and his position he wasn't able to expand. Uh, Barbecue Python, Michelinho, like the six players, Zybzek even, all of those guys, I felt like they truly had the skill to win this. A loud pack general, I didn't know much about the guy coming into it, but I could tell you I want to see more games with him because he was freaking hilarious with his chat. And then Oxy, uh, Oxy didn't really have a chance to get going. I think he lacked space and lacked gold, namely, because most of the gold was in the south, uh, which was another thing that was good for Nushio. But overall, very good game. Very funny map concept. And now I'm curious, for the players who saw the explosions in the game, because I didn't tell them, uh, what were your thoughts? I'm really curious about Teal, because I think some players might have picked up on it. Laboga said I had no clue what was going on the whole time. It sounds like me living life, Laboga. Feels bad. Yeah, what did Teal think? That's what I want to know. Nushio says I liked it a lot. Well, it really helped you, man. <laughs> but yeah, um, glad to hear you liked it. I agree with Bonzer Ali. He says, it will be interesting to see what people do now that they know. Yes, exactly. Now that people know that that's the case, uh, I could see some suicide coming into play. Like, imagine if Blue was upset with, who was it, Teal? And he somehow got his king to die near Teal's base. That would have been funny. T90, the weather here is as hot as Lorena says that you are T90 nice. <laughs> Electron, thank you for the year. Uh, it must be very hot. Because she's very fond of me. Gundrick said, T90, I patched the cartography part. Also, I guess that now that everyone knows, bigger sizes are okay. Yeah, we could probably do a bigger map with cartography for the next one. So I haven't heard anything from Teal. Uh, he must have gone AFK. Maybe he's off raging or he's just, you know, taking a break. But regardless, uh, thank you guys for watching on YouTube. I'll have to get his input on that because we saw his input in the chat. He was pretty surprised. Uh, thank you for watching on Twitch and YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, you, boy, T, you probably know the drill by now. This was streamed on Twitch. If you'd like to stop by the stream in the future, like all these crazy people, you can click the link below in the video description. My schedule is always posted below the stream. And I stream anywhere from like four to six days a week, depending. Recently, I haven't been as active because of my moving stuff. Uh, wow, that's crazy. Look at this stat right here. 
98% of the map was explored by Yellow. Remember, no cartography. He had to explore this all on his own. 98%. That's a ridiculous number. I'm surprised that Purple had 86%. They were doing a lot of scouting. Probably sent some individual units out to get some exploration in. 5,600 gold collected from the relics, but Nushio also had the extra gold piles. I think on a different map gen, Nushio wouldn't have had as much gold, but still would have had plenty left. What do we name that? What do we name that? Like, is Spicy Pilgrims a good title for that? Exploding Pilgrims could be diff could be interesting. Though YouTube might not let me monetize that video. <laughs> My one YouTube title recently was Sudden Death Killed by a Dead Man. <laughs> and YouTube said my video was not suitable for all advertisers. And I was real pissed because I got an email. I was like, what? YouTube, what are you doing to me, YouTube? You know, and then I looked at the title and I thought, oh, okay, that makes sense. 